welcome. It's a beautiful day out. And today I'm gassing up the stain, but we're not going for a drive. She need new contact lenses, as you can see. That's not happening anymore. So. We got the box in the back with the new lenses. And I'm heading to my mom's house so I can install them. So y'all stay tuned. This be my first time installing it, so this should be interesting. Let's go. So this should be pretty straightforward. It's basically, from what I saw on YouTube, you take off these two clips. Take off the uh, light and the signal light, and then it should just pop out. So uh, let's test that theory. Let's get a kind of a before and after shot. pull on it to get it. I'm wondering if these are OEM. So, clips look the same. So it's not like you can get them mixed up or anything. Y'all can see it. it goes right down in there and right down in there. And then you slide it out, and then here's your light bulb housing right here. A little piece there, and then one right there on the side right there so you disconnect that and then it should pop right up so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do that and then I'll be right back with you as a little side note twist this thing off going counterclockwise so sort of like righty tighty lefty loosey and then here's this clip right here that I'm referring to that you need to lift up to get that attached right there. All right, so there you go, that comes off. Electrical socket pops out right there. The light bulb is right there. So that's just for the front light. Now I gotta get the side light out. And then I have to take this bulb out because it has to go back into the other uh, lenses, which if I was smart, which I should have did, was go ahead and uh, got some new lenses, but um, you know, whatever. You wanna be very careful with these bulbs. You don't wanna touch the lens with your hands because the oil on your fingers will leave a thumbprint or your fingerprint or whatever finger you touch it with and it will burn it out. So you don't wanna do that. So you take this guy, 
from out of there. Stick it back in there. And then you're in business. At least just for that side. You still gotta get this guy out right there. So as you can see on the new one, just took this piece off. You have to remove that silver piece in order to get the bulb in there. I'm trying to cover everything that I can think of for this video. So pardon me if I miss something. got that back in and we actually used the piece that came with it to stick it back on so I'm assuming that little piece right there that little black piece right there that I took off the old one probably will not work on the new assembly so well that'll go with the new owner once I clean up the old the uh the old lens so let's get the side light out stick it in here and then put it back in got one in and now i'm just gonna put this guy back in there put the clamps back in the slots right there and somewhere over there and then uh that should be it for the uh driver's side As you can see, there's a couple holes back there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I can focus. But these little yellow uh, thingies that's sticking out, line them up and just slide them right in that hole. And that's it. pretty much let you know that it's aligned and in there properly. Another thing I want to point out, you got to make sure the lens is all the way pushed back so you can get the clips back in. If you can see what I'm saying there, but this little black piece here that's on the lens, top and bottom. You have to make sure it's pushed all the way back so you can get this clip in there the way it came out. And you gotta line it up. Like so I want to thank Ford for making that real easy but well, you don't need any tools to uh, change your lens it's pretty simple and straightforward so that's one clip in let's put the other one in and then let's take the uh, plastic off and see what we got there we go make sure it's really down in there because it has to be flush with this part here. You can't tell me that don't look like new money. My girl can see now, y'all. with the old and with the
something new. I'm gonna put these in the trailer and um, so I get some stuff to clean them up and then I'll come back down, polish them, clean them as best I can, see if I can get them to look almost OEM and then resell them because they are the original lights that came with this car, which is a 2001 Mustang GT. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more because that antenna right there, big old CB antenna, that's coming off there. I already got the antenna. I just got to install it. But today is Easter, so I'm not going to do it all the day. Got spread it out over multiple videos, you know what I'm saying? So, all right. I don't know when this video will get out to y'all, but if you celebrate it, happy Easter. If not, happy Resurrection Day or whatever you may celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate anything at all, that's all good too. But um, stay tuned for the next video and um, y'all be easy. What's that right there? Oh, what's that right there? Is that my baby? My black baby right there? That's her. That is her. I gotta get a battery for her. She will be back on the channel soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, y'all be easy. Peace.